Phoenix has got you now, Marshall. Eight words or less, eh? You can clearly be seen in this video! Okay, so back to the video footage. Um, yes it does. Well, that's easy enough to prove. The evidence lockers can only be unlocked using a detective's fingerprint. Gotcha. I only got one word for you, partner. No! All right, so we have proof that Marshall was in the room at the time of the crime. That should bring an end to the trial, unless Edgeworth has any objections. And knowing Edgeworth, he will have an objection and continue the trial. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime, eh? There were only two people in the room at the time of the crime. He wasn't standing where Mr. Meekins was standing, so he must have been standing here where the victim was. So that means the Bruce Goodman we saw in the video was actually Officer Marshall in disguise. Uh-oh, there's Edgeworth's objection. I was waiting for you to object, Edgeworth.
circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial is a long word which here means not good enough. Phoenix needs to prove something else. He needs to prove why Marshall opened his locker. After all, if Marshall planned this entire situation in advance, like Phoenix is claiming he did, why would Marshall open his locker? It makes no sense. So Phoenix is lacking that explanation. And that's a big hole in Phoenix's theory. Basics, huh? That would be what Mia used to say. Hey, it's Mia! Hi, Mia! Aw, I miss Mia. Why did she have to die? I liked her. She was awesome! Okay, so Edgeworth is saying what I said just a moment ago. Phoenix needs to come up with an explanation for why Marshall opened his locker. Clearly, he wanted to hide some sort of white cloth inside the locker. What white cloth did he want to hide? So it's back to the videotape we go. And the evidence we're looking for? Well, what is that white cloth? It's the white jacket that he's wearing. And he had to get rid of it because... It got covered in blood. It's kind of a giveaway when you walk around wearing a jacket that's covered in blood. This is the last time that we're going to see footage from the videotape. I must say, I like how the video evidence worked in this trial. It was very well done. Every little piece of the video had a tiny clue that got used in the trial as evidence. It was very well thought out. Unlike, say, in Apollo Justice, the third trial in that game, they make you watch the tape of the concert over and over and over again, and it's really not very relevant to the trial at all. Yeah, I didn't like that. Ah, uh, but it's not time to bash Apollo Justice. It's time to hear Officer Marshall's next bit of testimony.